On Australian Surfing's Night of Nights, we celebrate the biggest moments and outstanding achievements that occurred throughout 2022. From our best grassroots board rider clubs and industry icons to up and coming champions, and of course, the latest Hall of Fame inductee, Taj Burrows. Here's all the highlights from the Australian Surfing Awards. Man, we're here to celebrate all those amazing achievements that went down in 2022. Australian surfing was back in a big way. It was gritty, it was full of mongrel, it was full of power, it was full of rail, it was froth it! We have 51 finalists tonight in 17 categories. Well done and good luck tonight. There's so many characters and larrikins and uh, administrators. And I think our surfers get all the glory, they get all the attention, but it's the people behind the surfers that need the recognition and, and celebration, and that's what we're here to do tonight. Eminem's been special for a long time, you know, we do so much for the community, so much for the kids. We've been doing the right thing for so long, by the club and by everything else, and we've kind of just come the full circle in the last year or so now, putting, you know, results together. We're really well rounded in the community, family aspect, and then also performance now as well as the last box we've ticked. Eminem, everybody. Thank you everyone for the recognition. Thank you to Surfing Australia as well, providing surfing clinics to some of the most marginalised groups around Australia is uh, incredibly rewarding, but most importantly, very impactful. So we, we love the partnership and we look forward to working together. And the Ruffy Coach of the Year is Tom Whitaker. Wow guys, thanks so much for this cool award. I uh, didn't know it was actually offered to us coaches. It's quite a relative new thing in surfing, but. Surfing Australia and everyone else, thank you so much. I think you guys have been at the forefront of guiding us coaches and we thank you so much. I don't know if you caught this guy in the recent Eddie, but what are you doing out there, man? Well, I'm stoked to be here, very nice. It's nice to just, everyone on the same playing field, talking, conversing, and just being, uh, being there, present. So when you're going on right, how do you know a big left is not coming at you? Seriously? I don't. You don't? <laughs> I mean, I've been blind before surfing, but not like this. I'm seriously, this guy is amazing. It's been really cool getting to work with Surfing New South Wales, Surfing Queensland, Surfing Victoria um, and Surfing Australia to present my workshops and try and inspire the youth but also the greater surfing community to take care of your mental health a bit better because mental health is something that every single person in this room has and something that we should all try and take care of. So yeah, very proud to accept this award. I just can't believe that there are so many amazing people within this sport. We just had the best time, especially 11 um, members of the Australian team that all kind of came from different sections of the continent and um, we came together in such an amazing way and just had such a good team spirit and I just really enjoyed that part of it too. And the winner tonight, the Female Paris Surfer of the Year Award, Emma Dieters. And the Griffith University Male Rising Star Award goes to Willis Truma. Highlight me winning I Say World Juniors. Yeah, that was real. That was pretty rad. Um, so I guess so that's probably why I'm here. Got the nomination. Sierra, you had a massive 2022. What would be the highlights for you? Uh, probably winning Stab High and getting into the Pipe Masters and getting to compete at Pipe. That was amazing. And it was, yeah, it was such a good year with so many highs. It was such a, yeah, it was so fun. I loved it. so cool being in front of so many amazing surfers and amazing people and getting to be called one of the best juniors in Australia, it's amazing really. Surfer of the year, male, is Jack Robinson. I'm super stoked to get this award again. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. And uh, I wish I could be there, we're in Hawaii at the moment. Hopefully next time we can hold it off a little bit longer and then we'll get home in time. Look forward to inspiring the next generation too, so yeah, it means a lot. And, um, Thanks, Jared, for accepting the award, and uh, see you guys all soon. And the female Harvey Norman Surfer of the Year Award goes to none other than the GOAT, Stephanie Gilmore. Hi, everyone. Uh, sorry I couldn't be there tonight. I'm over here in Hawaii competing. I just want to say thank you so much for this award. Last year was a huge moment in my career. I always dreamed of winning eight world titles, and that event in in Trestles was something that I'll never forget. It was a really special moment. But I hope there's still more to come. And I just want to thank you all for the support. Surfing Australia, everything that you guys do for us. 
and um, yeah, enjoy the night. Surf photo of the year. This is one we look forward to. While the image must be taken by an Australian photographer, the photo can be taken anywhere around the world and can be drawn from action, lifestyle portrait or scenic photography. I think photography is equally as powerful as it's ever been. I think I've had some of the best times of people's life and I've shared those moments and, and you know a lot of the surfers have always had these incredible times around the world in incredible surf, amazing places and I get to share it and I get to keep it too so it's amazing. If you haven't seen this movie yet I can't tell you enough how incredible it is to have this man standing for this award. The heart, the soul, the vulnerability. It's nice um, to be recognised uh, for what we do and, and for for what we put into this film, like so much has gone into it, a lot of sacrifice, uh, a lot of hard work, there's been broken bones. To get recognition for it, it's, it's nice. Ladies and gentlemen, your Hall of Fame inductee for 2023 is Taj Burrow. Thanks a million for uh, this induction. I'm uh, very grateful, very honoured. I've dedicated all my life to surfing, like most of you in that room tonight and I just uh, love it to bits, so feeling very grateful and um, just thanks to you guys for throwing my name in the mix amongst all my favourite surfers there, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty special, so thanks for that. I wish I was there, I miss all of you. Cheers. Surfing in Australia is in a very good place. We have a, a deep pool of incredible talent and I'm very proud of the way that our team at Surfing Australia have really nurtured and developed that talent over the years. One thing that we like to reassure our other surfers is the importance of never forgetting where you come from. When you respect and understand that the shoulders that you lean on on the way up are the same shoulders that you need to lean on on the way back down. It makes all of our journey a lot easier and a lot better. Let's give him a standing ovation. Taj Barrow, ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 Hall of Fame inductee.